guys. Welcome to your um, general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see what your shadow work is, your shadow side is for November. So for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically this is getting in touch with our part of ourselves that we, repre we repress. This is our dark side. We all have it. Part of our healing and personal growth and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that, you know, working with that. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So Capricorn, tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn in their shadow or their shadow side for November 2023 for Capricorn. What else is Capricorn? Tell me about Capricorn shadow work, shadow side for November 2023. Nine of Cups here and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and Nine Cups here. Okay, seems like you guys are happy with where you guys are at, emotionally fulfilled here. Okay, things are going well. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Devil here. But here's the thing, there's something that you're not facing here. Yeah, I feel like the universe is trying to get your attention. I mean, this could be, you know, codependency issues, behavioral issues here, obsession, obsessiveness here. And I feel like, you know, I feel like the universe is wanting you to allow yourself to release control, you know, uh, you know, not worrying about, you know, the, uh, you know, the outcome of something here, you know, not, you know, uh, worrying about other people, but this is about releasing control. This is about surrendering control here. Okay. Some of the swords in the chariot here. I feel like someone here feels like they have to be in control because they feel like they have to be perfect. And they feel like in a perfect world, I mean, that would be a really great thing, but we're not perfect being, we're like, we are imperfect, perfect beings. Does that make sense? Yeah, someone here, yeah, someone here is just, in this energy, is just needing to be in control here. And someone here is just not really... I, I do feel like there's a sense of happiness here, but I was like, I, you gotta wonder if someone is someone here really, really, really that happy, you know, I, I, or or that you could be in this energy of like because you're in this consciousness, you're trying to seek that, you know, you know, you're trying to find that through control, okay? So the nine of cups, the chariot, cancer energy, the nine of cups here, the nine of cups and the ace of swords here. Yeah, I do feel like the universe is definitely trying to get your attention here. Definitely trying to get you to seek some sort of clarity. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I do feel like there's a, there's a situation where someone here is definitely speaking to you about this here. You know, I do feel like whoever this is, the seed has been planted here. So I feel like it's a situation where, you know, the universe is also planting those seeds here. And I feel like it's really up to you whether you want to do something about this or not. Because this is actually creating rifts, you know, not just like, like with your family and your, your friends and maybe in your romantic relationships here. Okay? The tower and the wheel. Yeah, there's something about not, not being able to release or surrender control here. Justice. Someone here is definitely raking up some karma here. Yeah, because this is inflicting you know uh, pain on someone on someone on themselves here, because they have such high expectations of everything or everyone that you know someone here is being constantly let down here. Okay, um, you know I feel like someone here deals with some sort of anger issues here with someone here like when things don't go their way, but that's how life is. You know, so sometimes you know things don't go out. Uh, don't go our way and we have to be flexible enough to you know navigate through those adjustments yeah you know this is about being flexible here too i feel like someone here is just not flexible yeah someone here's just not flexible it's kind of like the my my way or the highway sort of situation here the ten of swords now keep in mind capricorn even though like i'm reading for you here you could apply this to someone that you know that you know is showing signs of this or you know someone that you're dealing with who, who does this the chariot and the ace of cups here 
you know, I'm not going to lie. Do you feel like there's a sense of pretending here? Like I'm pretending, like someone here is like, I'm pretending I'm happy. I'm pretending I'm really emotionally fulfilled, but someone here is definitely not. Uh, because when someone here truly is, you know, you know, this wouldn't be happening, you know? So what else do we have here for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know, look out for, work on for November 2023 when it comes to their shadow work, their shadow side here for Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here and the Eight of Cups. I do feel like someone here is definitely turning their own back on their own pain and suffering here. And I do feel like it's a catalyst to the control issues here because someone here has been hurt so much. Yeah, um, let's see. Uh, we have the, uh, uh, the Judgment card and the Three of Cups here. Something is bubbling up to the surface here for somebody. And they so I feel like, like I said, the universe wants someone here to face this and deal with this here. Okay, yeah, something is bubbling up to the surface that you never dealt with here, Capricorn, before. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces here, and the High Priestess. I almost feel like, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune here for someone, you know, uh, you know, this is significant because I feel like the time is now for somebody here to make that change because I feel like the portal of change has opened up to someone. You know, I feel like maybe this is, you know, this could be some lingering effects of you know the two eclipses that we just had here the moon cancer pisces and the high priestess cancer pisces tell me about the uh, high, pri uh, high priestess the magician gemini virgo and the three of wands here so what we have is i feel like someone here is definitely taking control of their future here you know i do feel like someone here real is realizing that they don't want to be in this energy here because someone here is definitely hurting over this okay i do feel like someone here is in constant pain someone here is in like physical pain because of it just just the lack of res just the resistance here is so strong yeah just the control issues are so strong here for somebody so i feel like someone here is definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening you know someone here is definitely waking up to this here uh this is being illuminate illuminated for somebody and this is the opportunity for here for someone here to do something about this the eight of cups here and the two of cups the nine of wands here and the page of cups someone here is definitely turning their back on themselves here yeah, I feel like somebody here has consist consistently turned their back on themselves since they were a kid, you know, sacrificing themselves. Um, and, you know, sacrificing themselves, getting hurt here. Um, I do feel like someone here is dealing with a bit of a bit of a martyr energy, like because I feel like the control thing is also like taking on a lot of things from other people here. Okay, yeah. So this is about letting go. This is about surrendering control here for somebody here, and I feel like this is this someone. Uh, this is something that someone here has struggled with a lot. And you know, I feel like like I said, this, the time is now. The universe is kind of like hello, you know. When are you going to do something about this? And like I said, this is a portal of change here that's happening here for somebody. This is kind of like the lingering effects of the uh, two eclipses that we had like last month. Okay, so um, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.